Born in uh, Mombasa, I'm a third generation Kenyan. Mm -hmm. My early days were in the city of Mombasa, then I had my uh, primary and secondary education here. I went to the University of Nairobi right. and graduated in 1995 mm -hmm. uh, as a medical doctor and right. did my internship at the Kenyatta National Hospital before establishing Avenue Healthcare as a startup company in that year. And your schooling was in um, primary, secondary? Yes. So primary school was at the Consolata Primary School and in Westland. Secondary? secondary was Highway Secondary School. Mm -hmm. And my A-levels was at Strathmore College before University of Nairobi. Before your transit to University of Nairobi. Now, you studied medicine at the University of Nairobi at a tumultuous time. Mm. Um, <laughs> doctors striking, <laughs> others leaving the country for better opportunities. And obviously, United, uh, University of Nairobi closures uh, due to changes in policy like uh, withdrawal of the, the boom, yes. which was your stipend. Correct. Now, how did the spirit affect your study programs at that point in time? <laughs> it's the one big thing that affected me was it took me seven years instead of five instead years of five. to comple mm. complete my training. But the other realization that came to me um, was that healthcare was a challenging sector mm. and still is. And we needed to balance the economics and provision of affordable health care. Right. I realized that payment for professionals when doctors went on strike or nurses went on strike was mainly because of the amount of pay they used to get. Yeah. Um, the dialogue between public sector professionals and the senior officials was lacking and dialogue between public and private was lacking. It was a huge brain drain in the 1992-93, right, when all these strikes were taking place. And the brain drain went on for for another 15 years. Mm -hmm. It's reduced significantly at this time where we're getting more bilateral engagements in placement of nurses in UK. But you're right, in those days, the amount of health professionals that did go to UK or US, have, many of them have established. Some of the doctors that used to work with me, uh, a handful of my nurses and doctors are working and living in the US, having found jobs that paid them at least three to five times what they would earn here. Uh, 